Welcome to my spotlight on my crossbreeding automatic bee breeding machine. Today I'm going to take you through how to build this thing and what it does, how all the mechanics work. This is going to be pretty in depth, so by the time we're done here, you should be able to understand how this machine works and why it does what it does. And it'll also help you to troubleshoot in case you run into issues when you're actually using this machine yourself. So yeah, let's get right into it. The best way to understand how one of these machines work is to actually follow the path that each item is going to follow. So we start with pulling our items out of the apiary. Of course, you need a redstone engine and a lever. Now the first thing we're going to do is lay down our sandstone transport pipe. Now the reason why we use sandstone transport pipe is because um, in Buildcraft it is the only pipe that will uh, interact with other pipes but not with blocks. So this can only be connected to other pipes. So the first pipe connected to is the wooden transport. The second pipe we're going to have it connected to is our apiarist's pipe. Now this is a super handy pipe. It's a little complicated but uh, I think that once you get a good look at it, it's, it's not too bad to understand. So let's take a quick look at it here. Uh, interesting GUI. Uh, the interface here shows uh, the, the six different paths that bees can take. You can have the pipe ends closed. They can send anything down those pipes. Items, bees, drones, princesses, queens, only purebred bees, nocturnal bees, pure nocturnal bees, strong, pure, cave, pure cave, back to closed. So there's a there's just a ton of possibilities just right off the bat right there. Now these uh, extra spaces are where you can actually choose what kind of species will go down that pipe. So for example, I could say any bee that is forest purebred. Now what are these two columns? Zero and one, zero one. The first column refers to the active gene in the bee. The second column refers to the inactive gene in the bee. Now we can take a look at this real quick. Get a bee-elizer. Some honey drops. So if we take a look at one of these bees here, we have active and inactive. So meadows, meadows. So if we were to set this pipe to send red meadows, meadows, only purebred meadows would go down that pipe. Now if we turn this off here, and we just have the first one, then it doesn't matter what the inactive gene is. Send anything that has uh, active meadows gene down this pipe down the red pipe. So this could be very useful. So at this setting, anything that is meadows or a meadows hybrid will go down this pipe. And you can do this for several different different things here. So I can say I want uh, meadows forest to go down red and I want meadows purebred and I want, you know, forest and meadows hybrids to go down red pipe. So that's pretty convenient. What we're going to do first is we're going to try and deal with the princesses. So our first princess, let's say we want it to go here to blue. So down the blue pipe we're going to send princesses. I'm going to send Meadows Princesses down the blue pipe. Okay. Now we just got to uh, 
use a relay here. These are easier to build from the other direction actually, so I'm just going to build from this direction here. So our setup is going to go like this. So our Meadows Princess is going to come down the blue pipe into our relay, and all the relay does is uh, make it so that you can take Buildcraft pipe and feed it into Red Power pipe, which are these pneumatic tubes. So it's going to go through here automatically into this, which is our item detector. Now when an item goes through the item detector, it sends out a redstone pulse. That's going to be important for later, just remember that. So then our Meadows Princess will continue and get dropped down in the top of this. Great. Now it's going to need a drone to go with it so they can breed together. So let's talk about drones. If we go back to my apiarist pipe here, we're going to want drones to come down below because we feed in the drones in the bottom of the apiary. So we want drones to go to black. So we're just going to go ahead and send all drones to black. So I just change this to drones and I'm not going to put anything in here. So any drone that comes through here is going to go through to black. Great, so I'm going to come down here, set up another apiarist pipe. Now, since we got Meadows Princesses going through up here, we want, and we want to crossbreed, we're going to want to crossbreed with a forest drone. So let's focus on forest drones. Let's say we got a forest drone that comes through the pipe. It's going to go up through the sandstone pipe into this first APRS pipe. It's going to follow the black with the drones down to here. Then we're going to get down to here and we're going to differentiate the species in this pipe. So through blue, we're going to send drones that are forest. Notice I'm going to leave this blank. That means that even if it's a hybrid forest, it's still going to go through. So these are going to be all forest bees, whether purebred or not. So I'm coming to here. And this time we're going to feed them into a chest because we need a, uh, a substantial amount of capacity at this point. We could use a relay here, but the chest works much better. Uh, just because if you look, the relay only has nine slots for inventory. Iron chest has a whole ton, which is very nice. Okay, now we need a filter. And if you know anything about filters, the way filters work is they will draw an item when they have a redstone pulse. Well, lo and behold, we have an item detector right above this that will send out a redstone pulse when an item goes through it. So, very simply, we just need to connect these two. Boom. So now what will happen? We get our, our Meadows Princess will go through here, hit the item detector, which will cause this to pull one item out of this chest. And this chest will have forest drones in it. So Meadow Princess triggers a forest drone. And our forest drone will end up in the bottom of this chest. Now, I don't know if you really need to do this here, but I just like my machines to look clean, so I'm going to put a glass cover here just to protect it from my redstone engine. Great. So now we got one path figured out. That's great. We've got meadows and forest. But what about the opposite? We're going to want forest princesses to be matched with meadows drones. So let's, let's uh, go in the opposite direction here.
Okay, so all we got to do now is adjust our apiarist pipes here. Now going to red, we're going to want to send our forest princesses. So red, set to princesses, forest. So any princess that's forest, at least actively, we're not worried about inactive genes, is going to go through our red pipe. And we're going to want to pair that here through the red pipe with meadows, oops, with Meadows drones. So blue had the, the, the forest going over there, and now through red we're going to send our Meadows drones. Great. So now, when we have a forest princess come through this side, it's going to trigger this uh, filter to pull a Meadows drone out of this chest. Both get fed back in the apiary and we're back in business. So uh, now we know uh, no matter what we get in terms of forest or princess that they're going to be um, crossbred against each other continuously. But we, get, we still have one more thing to do here. What happens when we finally get the crossbreed that we want? Now when you, when you crossbreed forest and princess, the, one of the possible offsprings is a common bee. So let's set this up. I'm putting in some glass panes here just to uh, make it so my, my central pathway doesn't get mixed up. So let's drop in our filter, our chest, our item detector. pipe and of course a relay. Boom. Okay, so now let's say we have a commons bee that comes through here, right? One thing about the apiaris pipe is that if you haven't already bred the bee, you can't get it by clicking through. Now I have already gotten the common bee in this game, so I have it, but normally if you were just starting out, this wouldn't be an option. You would just have forest and, and meadows and whatever bees, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever other bees you got in uh, the overworld. But one nifty thing about this is that you can set it so that if it, get, if it gets something that it doesn't recognize, it'll just send it down that pipe. So here I'm just going to have princesses going to green, which is this pipe here, the center one. And I'm just going to leave this blank. So anything that isn't forest or meadows and is a princess will go down the green pipe. Simple enough. So let's say our common princess comes through here. It'll set off our item detector. It'll send your signal down to our filter. But what's it going to pull? Now this is a problem because we don't have any commons, common uh, bees here to, to start with. So what I like to do is I'll take a few of these guys from either side and I'll just drop them in here in the bottom. Now the filter is going to take from the upper left hand corner and go across. And it's going to take the first bee it comes to, which is going to be, boom, the meadows drone. So I'll use that, then I'll use the forest, then I'll use the meadows, then I'll use the forest. Uh, it probably won't get through one, more than a, a couple of these before we start seeing common uh, drones. And as soon as we see a common drone, where's that common drone going to go? It's going to come out of the apiary into this pipe. He's a drone, so I'll go to black. Come down here. Now, there's nowhere for a common drone to go, but we know that the green pipe goes into here, so now in green we're going to send just any drones that aren't forest or meadows. So uh, when the commons drone comes down through here, it should be deposited right into this chest. And what's great is that it'll deposit it up here in the upper left hand corner so that even though we've got these bees down here, once we have commons to choose from, our filter will pull from the commons that are deposited. So what will eventually happen is we'll start to see uh, the commons cycle through here and they're not going to be crossbred. If we have a commons bee coming through the center and it pulls a commons drone, commons princess with a commons drone, we're going to get more commons. So what will eventually happen is this will just turn into a, a bee recycling machine that continuously recycles commons and we'll, we'll build up a 
uh, actually a whole stack of commons up in the upper, upper left hand corner uh, purebred common bees and this can be set up to work to make just about uh, any bee in the game now it's not perfect it will have uh, little glitches here and there so you gotta keep an eye on it but it makes life a lot easier and it is a pretty straightforward design I think most people will agree that a uh, you know a simple elegant design is much much better much uh, easier to use and to fix than a big complicated design so yeah I mean using apiarist pipes and red power and all this stuff I could build a, a big gargantuan machine that would run on its own perfectly but uh, you know at the end of the day this gets the job done and it didn't take very many resources and I think it's a really a really nice design to use so uh, yeah that's it for the spotlight I, I hope that you are able to use this machine and understand how it works if there are any questions please uh, don't hesitate to post them in the comments and uh, yeah good luck <laughs>